Hi, I'm Riley from Numerous, and this video will show you how to install and use Numerous inside of Excel to get work done faster in your spreadsheet with AI. So if you haven't done so already, you can install Numerous, the add-on for Excel by going to up here to the Insert tab and clicking on Get Add-ins and searching for Numerous inside of Microsoft Store. Then you can click this green Add button. Um, I already have it installed, so I'll go back to the Home tab, and there's this icon here to open the sidebar. If you click on that, it opens, and you can log in with either your Microsoft or your Google account. Just be sure that the email address that you log in with is the same one that you paid for your subscription with. And now I'm logged in. Um, this demo spreadsheet I have prepared here has a list of restaurant reviews. Um, and I'm going to pretend to be the restaurant owner and do some analysis on these reviews um, with Numerous. So in column A, I have the reviews. And in column B, I want to write a reply to the reviewer using AI. Um, so I'm going to write a custom equals num.ai formula. And this lets me prompt ChatGPT right from my spreadsheet. So I can put in this formula what I would, what I would normally say to ChatGPT. So I'll type equals num.ai, uh, and I'll say write a short reply um, to this restaurant review from the restaurant to the customer. And I'll wrap that all in double quotes, and I can now write a comma, and then I'll pass in um, a cell reference to the review text. So that's an A2. And then I put a parenthesis to close it all off, and I hit enter, and now um, the AI has written a response. And the magic with Numerous is that I can now, just like any other formula, drag this down all the way, and it writes reviews using AI, or writes replies to all the other reviews too. So now that's done, um, in column C, now I want to write um, or extract the food item mentioned in each review. So in each review, um, there's some kind of food I mentioned, and here it's the miso soup, here it's the spaghetti, here it's the dulce de leche. Um, what I could do is do the same thing as before and write another um, num.ai formula saying uh, I want to extract the food item. But um, with the numerous, we have these custom templates down here to do some kind of, uh, to do normal tasks like classification, reformatting, extraction, that, those kinds of things. Um, so I'll click on the extraction tool here. And this is kind of like Mad Libs, um, if you ever did that as a kid, where you can fill in the blank and, and tell it what you want to do. So um, I'll click into where I want to place this extraction, which is cell C2, and I'll write um, extract the food item from the restaurant review in column A. And I can click the place button and it placed a formula in this cell and it got miso soup. And I'll drag this down all the way and it extracts all the other reviews. So that's how that works. Um, and now in column D, I now want to get the cuisine of the food items. So now like, like for example, for miso soup, this would be Japanese, for spaghetti, it'd be Italian. Um, we have another template down here for getting basic information. So I can use this to do that. So I'll say, give me the cuisine of the food item in column C. And just like before, I can now place this in cell D2. And it got that. Now I can drag this down and do it for all the other reviews too. Perfect. So, um, and, and now in column E, I want to get the sentiment of the review, whether it's positive or negative. Um, I can go to the classification tool here. And I'll say, I want to classify the restaurant review in column A based on the sentiment and into one of the following groups. Um, I'll say, you can type whatever you want here. I'll, I'll do positive and, positive and negative. Um, just an enter after you type each choice. Um, you could do more. You could say neutral. You could say um, very positive or very negative, but I'll just do these two. Um, and now I'll click into the cell, E2. And there we go, negative. And I'll, I'll drag this down. And we now have the sentiment analysis for all the reviews. 
Um, that's the end of this video. If you have any questions at all, feel free to email us. Our email address is support at numerous.ai. That email address is already also in the description of this video. My name is Riley. Thanks for watching, and I hope you can save some time in your spreadsheet.